because I was I was ashamed of what I was. Man, you don't know that I'm in pain all the time, you know. I can say that to me at that point I I felt like I'm dead. I was I was I was depressed. I wasn't going out. I I you know, my body wasn't looking the same as it was looking before and uh, with all this popularity that I had at the moment, I was trying to hide myself because I was I was ashamed of what I was. I was uh, I never went to the beach because you know I was ashamed that probably someone will recognize me and say, uh, look how it look look how he looks now. How long is the that period that you had to go through like the hard one? The very hard one it was like two years since. 2017 till the beginning of 2020. At the same time, I had pain on my hips. Wow. Yeah, and at the same time, I developed a, a condition which is called coccidinia, which uh, you have pain on the tailbone. I can't lay on my back. You know, I can't uh, sit without a certain with a pillow, special pillow. Wow. Okay, and I had this at the same time. And um, I couldn't sleep because I didn't have a position to sleep on. You know, when I'm on my side, my hip hurts, my both hips, you know. When I'm on my, on my back, my tailbone hurts. When I'm on my front, you know, my knee hurts because I have a surgery. And I was sleeping on uh, these uh, painkillers for months just be because I couldn't relax, you know. And when you're like this, your nervous system to like to feel pain all the time and to have not a single moment that you can relax because you don't have pain, it just drives you crazy. And I remember at some point I was, you know, the pain was so bad and I couldn't relax. I started hitting my head in the wall. I, I didn't know wh why I was doing it, but it just I wanted the pain to be somewhere else, you know. And I started laughing for no reason. I was just staying at home for months like this. And I was doing this thing. And I said, at that point, I, I thought that I'm going crazy. Coccidinia. You can't even poop. You can't freaking stand. You can't walk. You can't. Nothing. Nothing. You are living inside your brain only. Only, you're only living your thoughts, which become your reality. And whenever you're trying to come into your body, it's just a painful experience. So you are in a very bad circle, my friend. You are fucking yourself up holistically. Major fuck up here. Woo. You get what I mean, right? Lucid strength means so many things and I want to come with an example to give you a way on how to deal with injuries or things that are forcing you to choose a different path that you are not used to, you don't want to, blah blah blah. But, okay, my point is, imagine that you are a river starting your journey from the top of a mountain and floating down, you know, all the way to the ocean. And you are taking the same path every single day. You are flowing. You're the river. Whoop. Same way. One day it rains a lot and a big, big rock, boom, rolls down into the canyon where you are flowing every day. Every day, man. This is what I do. And it lands right on your path. So the water, instead of taking the same path, now it gets blocked. It can't do the same, like the injury. Right? What water do is that it ad adapts. It forms itself through and around the big rock in order to continue its path. It doesn't try to push that rock down, fight with it, it forms its way and it adapts through the cracks. 
to continue its journey eventually. And that, my friend, is how you should approach everything you do. Don't fight against it. Don't try to pick up fucking punches. Try to find a smart way that will help you personally to find your purpose, to find your meaning. Be water, my friend. A wise man said that. If you know who he is, write it down in the comment section. So many times we think that in order to feel good about our body, about ourself, we had to look a certain way, we had to be able to lift a certain number, whatever that is. Uh, and that's, that's like the result of the fitness industry, which is becoming an industry, a money machine. Buy this product, take this protein shake and you will look this way. This is the way you want to look. This is what girls like. <laughs> please, if there's any girls watching, please just write down in the comment section that you don't have to have a freaking six pack and have the same size boobs as girls have in order to be attractive. But it's much more when you can become vulnerable, when you are humble, when you are all these things that you are attracting people, right? Our thoughts and the way we are thinking and what we do and what we become are essentially how we feel in our body, okay? And you can feel good in your body right now, today. No matter who you are, no matter how long of experience you have with any kind of training, uh, that's the, the raw truth. Sorry, guys, but you don't have to fucking... Uh, work and re reverse engineer your whole body out of mobility and movement in order to be somebody. Actually, the stiffer the body, the stiffer the mind and vice versa. From this, just keep that how you feel in your body and what you can do with it affects so much who you are, who you become, and how you think. And the same with the mind. I, like, I didn't have confidence at all. I lost, I never had confidence. I, I didn't know who I was. And uh, I remember when, when I started going to the gym, when I started doing business with, this, with uh, fitness and everything, I was becoming more and more confident you know because things start to work your way uh, and you feel that you can handle everything and at some point in my life because before this thing happened i was very confident that i can fix everything if i have problem i fix it i can i can, I can do everything you feel strong you think if you feel confident but when all these things happened, I, I realized that I can't, not everything's up to me, you know, and all, all my health problems I couldn't handle. So this is how I slowly started to lose my confidence. I, was, I wasn't that confident anymore. I remember that if, if I see a negative comment, I was like, I don't know, I, I didn't like it. I was, I, I was hurt. You know, because I realized these guys don't know what's my situation and they, they are speaking back to me, you know. And um, I was hiding all, you know, probably most of the people, they will be like, uh, why didn't you tell this, all, the, all this thing? It's because at that point I didn't have the strength to say it. I, I, I'm just honest. I felt like, I'm, shit, I'm the most miserable person on earth. And I, I didn't have the strength to say it. Confidence is earned. The way that you get confident is by going full circle. But when you go full circle and you take, take it from the idea and bring it into reality by acting upon the information that your mind is giving you, you get to an outcome. The outcome doesn't matter if it's 
good or bad, uh, if it solves the problem or not. But confidence comes when you are going full circle again and again and acknowledging that, okay, this failed, this didn't work, this made me feel good, man. This blah, 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 blah. And then you get confident because you have the experience the bodily experience in this realm, this reality right here that we are feeling, sensing and seeing, uh, that's what will give you confidence. Information can paralyze you in the sense of, if you just think, information makes you feel good, right? If I read a book, I listen to a podcast, I learn new things, yes, great, that's only motion. But when you start to apply everything and all the information that you have stored in your head throughout the years, throughout school, university, blah, 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 life, then things will start to be fun, man. That's when you start to have power in this life. When you take it, take the information that are stuck up here and bring it out. I don't think about the future that much, if I have to be honest. So you're not trying to be 100% again in terms of your physique? I'm you're trying, trying, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't push things like I was pushing them before. I'm trying to focus on other things because I'm going to tell you exactly how I was thinking before that. I was, you know, the, the therapist, they made me realize this thing. I was totally... Uh, moved by my ambition, nothing else. I was living because of my ambition. And I, I know that people never understood the way I live because I was always dedicated to the thing I do. And to me, all the other things didn't exist. You know, girlfriend, nothing, nothing else. You know, to me, success was the only thing I knew. And I was living to be successful. And once I lo lost this ambition, uh, I, it's like I felt like I lost everything. Like, I don't have reason to live anymore. And, so and I'm now, trying not to be like this. I found, I'm not overthinking. I'm not so, I'm trying to find other things beside lifting weights and trying to be the best at this thing, you know. I will never be a master. What is even a master? A guru or something like that. I'm 25 year old, years old. I'm far, far away from that. What I am is I am a student of the game, okay? And I see the game that we live in, that's the game. And there's just a difference between the level of the student. When I'm a higher level student, I am teaching to the lower levels or I'm sharing information, you know, just like a tribe leader would go find fruits and go back to the tribe and say, look what I found, you know, and, and then explain that blah, 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 you can do this, you can go there and then you will get the fruits. So it's the same thing, you know, that's what a teacher does. That's sharing something that the lower level students, there's always a higher level student above me. And what that means is that I have always something to learn. And if I think that I understand something, I'm good at something, I'm a shitty practitioner. I'm a shitty student of the game. Having ego and thinking that you are somebody will only limit your progress and who you can become. I hope that makes sense. So, the ego here is the enemy. And the, um, I think 2020, it was really hard for everyone, but for me, it was perfect. You know, I, I felt that I'm alive again, you know. Well, why was that? What, what changed? Oh... Uh, I don't know, like my mentality changed and I have, I had less pain. So I started going to gym, even, even though it's not 100%, I, under, I, I realized that the most important thing for me is to, to feel that I'm doing something for myself and for my body, you know, that I'm, that I'm, that I'm trying to progress every day. You know, this, this thing is what keeps me alive.
you just having fun um, yeah I, I started having fun like there there was one thing that uh, i was so ashamed of myself that in the summertime i was going with a uh, track suit you know before that because i was ashamed of my body and uh, last year you know i started to lift weights you know i i don't look like i i look before but i look like uh, at least like a person that goes to the gym a little bit you know <laughs> So I had this courage to go to to start having fun and, you know, uh, I got a girlfriend. So, so she, she took me to the seaside and I saw things that I ha haven't seen in years, you know. Yeah. How, how did that make you feel going to, to the seaside finally, seeing what's up around town, so to speak? Mm, it, it just made me feel alive again. It start, I started to have my confidence back. Like, it, it feels good, you know. Just like you had fun when you were a kid playing at the park being super graceful in your movement and your ambition and whatever you were doing it was all about just exploring like exploring for the sake of exploration having fun for the sake of having fun it was not about being this or that it was about enjoying the moment having fun and in many things, you know, I could have fun by making something with my hand, by rolling on the ground, by playing with my friends, by picking uh, and destroying my dad's uh, uh, documents, whatever, right? We were just having fun all the time. The kids are so much closer to the source. Before all the layers of success, of you have to do this, you have blah, blah, blah and all the spectrum just get limited, 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 and you get away from the source and you get sick in your head and you lose who you are and, and what the purpose of being on this earth is. It is to pass time and die. So learn to pass time in a way that makes sense to you, right? At least that makes sense to me. And tell me if this, yeah, if you, understand this and if you agree at all but again the thing with you know putting everything you have you've got in one boat and if that boat one day sinks you are just screwed um, and here I'm so happy for Lazar that he he finally understood this that man I have no no goals in, in the future I'm figuring things out I'm trying to be happy and have fun with other things than, than only lifting weights. He has a girlfriend now. He went to the beach and actually like felt things that was forgotten. And the more we grow, the more we forget what, what makes us happy and what the purpose is, you know. The ego gets higher, etc, etc. Yeah, Gained actually, I was very, very stupid. Like, I didn't know many things before. And this is the, the, the way I grew up. Because I was, I was, I grew up with these magazines and uh, articles. I was reading with uh, successful athletes, people. They was always telling, you need to give more. You need to be the best. You need to... Success. I want to be successful. I want... What is success even? Okay, think, think a moment about this. I'm dedicating my time and my life to be successful, to be happy, to be blah, 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 one day. What does that say about you? That means that you are telling yourself at this moment right now that you aren't successful. You aren't happy. So, I want to be something that I'm not right now. So I'm, I'm lacking happiness. I'm la lacking success. And here comes something that I think is huge and is so misunderstood. It's so being thrown, thrown around like candy is. And that is, you know, enjoy the journey. Forget about the destination. And that is being used so much without people like having walked the walk, you know, it sounds good, it makes sense, everybody understands it, but again, 
it's information. Have you going full circle with that idea? Have you tried to do something and not even care if you reach that destination and just have so much fun through the journey? Have you tried that? Uh, it takes on learning for sure because everybody is being like this go 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 be productive uh, build business make money blah 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 right so and again I've been there I really hope that I'm not coming through like somebody like like I said good vibes only guys I'm a student as well right but I have been the goal oriented guy and now that I'm going to this incremental mindset of this incremental practice and having I'm having a reflection practice at this stage in my life uh, because this goal oriented mindset did not serve me it served me it was only bringing me you know sadness and misery uh, in my life so please try to think a moment about what you do and why you do it and how do you think you, you will feel when you reach that that you want because when you reach that what actually will happen is that it will be a weird day if you have invested so much of your time and energy into, into achieving something and thinking that oh I'm successful if I can do a one more handstand or if I make a million dollars uh, a month right when you reach that point then you go empty because it's inside our system to work and think like that you know we want more the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and this is just a never-ending circle that's just how it works that's just how 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 it is so it's really worth investing in building this incremental mindset of hey wow I, I never really did get my handstand or whatever I'm practicing for but the journey to get the handstand have really taught me patience it has taught me to fail and get up again so many times persistency discipline right and physically it has given me you know strong wrists body awareness control balance you know to a certain extent even though you don't reach your one arm hands and or whatever it is so think of what do you get out of the practice while you're practicing it and where you are of course have like a direction an orientation but the now is what you have the now is what what matters you know so don't disrespect the moment that you has the option to to choose and invest time in getting philosophical here <laughs> um, but I like this now after all this thing I started realizing things in the past and where I did wrong because when you are I'm gonna tell you exactly uh, when I was in this social media bubble and I want try I was trying to be the the best in this mm -hmm. thing uh, I was trying to have the most ecstatic body you know um, I was trying to be the most popular you don't see the outside how you know, you don't see the other stuff you know why do you do it is it right is it wrong you know i just push without knowing why oh i i know that many people are, right now are probably in the same situation that i was before and that, that they don't see a reason to live that uh, i know that even many kids now have depression and stuff like that i just want to tell them that uh, not to give up, you know, just you need to be patient and at some point you're going you're gonna to get out of this shit. So, we're coming to the end of this video, of this interview. And, 
Lazar are admitting so many things, you know, and understanding how how stupid he was in the past and how wrong he approached so many things, and how the social media uh, really screwed his head, you know, and and um, and made him do things without knowing the why, and really misleading him in a wrong direction and spiraling down in in many negative things uh, and choices and thoughts etc etc so awesome right awesome for him that even though it was it definitely sucked in in so many ways and i really don't wish that for anybody either you know that's why we're doing this right here so we don't have to reinvent the wheel every time we get injured or we are doing something wrong. You know, the most successful people are the ones that get back on track the fastest, the fastest, that adapt the most, like water do, but with some wisdom to it, with some open mindedness, right? Where, for example, like bodybuilding is like this container with. Imagine this big container with everything that includes bodybuilding, right? It's not a perfect system for using the body, right? It might give you some strength there, it might give you something mindset there, but it's not balanced. Nothing is balanced. Yoga, it's not balanced. You never hang, you never do pull-ups, right? All these things. So, we have to break in our head and unlearn this thing that the fitness industry has uh, screwed us over with so many years because they just want to make dollar baby we have to break all these containers of things and and see it as one big container of of movement of, of doing something with our body to feel a certain way to learn certain things about ourselves like all these things and also there's so many things, you know, from um, different disciplines that can teach you how to improve ligament strength, gymnastic strength, gymnastic bodies. Lazar, like if you're watching this man, go and do some ring training and work on gymnastic strength from the base with no ego, with being the lowest level student even though you might be the highest in the game at bodybuilding or whoever knows, but approach things without being affected by the past experience. So go in, try something new, but be this blank canvas, no matter what you've done. And that's how we should try and zero point ourselves every day. Every day is a new day, every day you can be this white canvas so no matter what happened yesterday you can bring yourself humble yourself down to early beginnings anyway guys i would love to hear you down in the comments what you have to ask and think about this video and i will see you next monday for sure as always good vibes only good vibes Good vibes only. That sounded a bit gay, yeah? Good vibes only. <laughs>